Hi folks, this is John Curacala, and today we're going to be talking about 10 tips to nail that difficult passage. So let's get started. Number one, start early. Most of the time we're lucky enough to get our ensemble music about a week before the first rehearsal at the least, so get started early. This is a process. Think of that first rehearsal or performance like an open book exam. How many exams do you get in your life where you have the exact test a week in advance and you get to use it during the exam? It's an open book test. And like a test, cramming the night before is of little value and you won't really retain the material afterwards. So start early. Number two, never play a wrong note. This may sound obvious, but when we're learning our music, we're training our brain. And if we keep on giving our brain different signals every single time we play a passage, we're just confusing ourselves. For instance, if we went out for lunch every day, and the first day I said, I love Rockstar. Then the next day I said, I love Diet Pepsi. Then the day after that I said, I love water. Then the next day I said, I love Starbucks coffee. Ugh. If after all that I asked you, hey, what's my favorite beverage? You'd be pretty confused, right? So never play a wrong note. We want to be consistent. Which leads me to my next point. Start slowly. If you spend your entire practice session practicing something wrong until you finally get it right, then you probably spent the majority, 99% or more, practicing wrong. And again, we're just confusing our brain at this point. So start slow. You'll actually make faster progress by starting slower and staying slower for longer than just by trying to do it until you get it. Daniel Bernard used to say, 10 times slow, one time fast. Number four, use a metronome. The metronome can help you to play faster, but it's also there to keep you from going too fast too soon. Pick a tempo that you can play easily with no mistakes. Remember, this is a process of exploration and discovery, not frustration. For instance, in the passage I just played from Shostakovich Symphony No. 10, I played this piece a bunch of times, but every time I come back to it, I always start slowly. And if that means going ridiculously slow, whatever it takes to feel comfortable and at ease. Which leads me to the next point. Speed up gradually and make sure to track your progress. It's just like working out with weights. If you're trying to get stronger, then just going into the gym every other day and randomly selecting a weight to use is probably not gonna give you the best results over the long term. Instead, what you wanna do is track the exercises that you do along with the weights that you use. This will allow you to gradually increase your repetitions and gradually increase your weight. Because you've been tracking these numbers, you'll know exactly what to do the next time you hit the gym. And you can see your progress over time. I like to look at my music the same way. If you're starting slowly, you probably won't reach your goal tempo in one practice session. But if you track your tempos, then when you come back the next day, you can see where you maxed out and try to surpass that tempo, even if it's only by one notch. This can help give you an encouragement, and it helps you make steady progress over a period of time. Because remember, we're not trying to cram this all in the night before, right? By the way, if you're enjoying this content, please consider leaving a like below and subscribing to the channel, as it really does help get the word out. Moving on, work in small sections. You may have heard that old joke, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Don't try to learn five lines of music at one time. It's often more than our brain can process. Instead, you'll do much better if you break things down phrase by phrase, or half a phrase, or even measure by measure. Concentrate on perfecting small sections and you'll be rewarded with more consistent progress. Next, Mark breaths and stick to them. Remember, the first reason for breathing is to keep you alive, not to play the clarinet. If you're practicing a two-measure passage that has a breath mark in it, make sure to include that breath in your slow practice, whether you need it or not. It doesn't make sense to skip a breath because you don't need it in this two-measure passage, but then need it later when you put it back into context. Practice breathing where you need to breathe, and make sure all of your breath marks are planned. The next tip is one of my favorites. Consider using different rhythms in your practice. Sometimes to break things up, I like to use different rhythms on a particular passage. First I do long short, then I do short long,
Then I do one and three. Then I do three and one. These different rhythms work, I think, because when you're holding one of the sustained longer notes, it gives you time to prepare for the faster notes ahead. So try integrating different rhythms into your practice. Number nine, always practice with your best sound and musicality. Remember, we're not just pressing buttons and learning notes. We're trying to play beautiful phrases. So when you're practicing slowly, don't just learn the notes. Try to incorporate the dynamics and the articulations. Make music. Especially if you're trying to learn a fast, difficult passage, it doesn't make sense to me to just learn the notes and then try to add dynamics and other such things in later. Practice the way you're actually going to play, so it's always musical. Make sure you're always phrasing, supporting, and playing with your best sound. And finally, keep in shape. Long tones, scales, etudes, all of your other rudiments, thirds, sixths, these are really important and they can help you learn your music a lot faster. Remember, these are not torture devices for clarinet players, although it often feels like it. They're an essential cornerstone of our technique, so stay in shape. And that's it. I hope these practice tips help you conquer the most difficult passages in your music. Remember, start early, practice slowly, work your way up gradually, always use a metronome, play with your best sound, and above all, make music. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe. I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you next week. Take care.